Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of GTI Imperium Galactic Survival. So, last episode, this is, um, by the way, this is Z-Lot here, if you haven't figured that out already. Um, God, I don't even know what episode this is. And let's take a look. It appears to be... Uh, Episode five? Okay, we'll go with that. Anyway, um, as you can see, I was able to dig out the rest of the base, throw up this door. Uh, I think I actually got that door in last episode. Anyway, uh, off camera, I dug out Basically, I dug out the ramp and finished building it, made it serviceable enough so that there's a big gaping hole inside of the mountain for me to get vehicles in and out of. Um, I'm not going to have anything huge. All I plan on spawning is one SV and one HV. Okay. So, my next step is uh, in my quest to not die... I'm a little concerned about critters coming down in here because there seems to be a lot of them. Uh, way more than any scenario, scenario or any other multiplayer anything I've been on. It's, it's kind of crazy. So I actually think I'm going to set up some sentry turrets. Usually I don't even bother because I just shut the door and it's like, man, they eventually go away. Um, but... And, and ships can't really get to me because I'm so deep underground, right? Um, so it's just critters, but these guys, their spawn rate is really high and they spawn like all over the place, like on places where you wouldn't think and ship would even want to go. Cliff faces and crazy shit. So um, I'm not sure if that's because I had it all on the hardest settings that that uh, for the enemies, it might be, it might be, um, but I've had hard settings before for the standard, um, the standard single player survival, you know, you get that survival POI when you're on a QA and, and all that. I've done, I've done that on hard mode and I don't remember the spawn being, well, it was pretty, it was pretty crazy actually, now that you mention it. Yeah. The night raptors. Oh. <sighs> okay. Let's get back to the uh, crazy aliens on this planet and try and get some objectives done. Um, I don't really want to do much without a vehicle, so let's see if we can actually get uh, enough material together to get the SV going. I'm just going to get out of uh, first player view here and see what sort of materials we have. We've got a crap ton of iron, so that'll be good. Uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to have all the mats we will need. Yeah. yeah. I'll grab these parts, speed it up a little bit. Not much. Don't really have much parts. Haven't killed any drones. Haven't had any drone base attacks either, which is a little surprising. So let's get SV cooking. We'll go into blueprints. Um, that I'm not going to be able to do too high level. Let's uh, just build my clap trap. Now this is just, it's not really a combat vessel even though I put a bunch of uh, missiles on it it's, it's it's not combat worthy let me tell you I might be able to squeak out an easy POI or so but it's more it's more in case that freaking CV shows up at least I have some some anyway I need to get the space in mind is that what I need to do and that's that's why I'm building this thing so let's put that to my factory uh, it's going to require 235 iron, so I'm going to grab uh, so yeah, let's throw that in there, that in there. I, I don't 
actually know how to how to split a stack into certain amounts yet. It doesn't let me see, and then it did too many. God damn it. Okay, well, that you know what? I can live with the overage. It'll carry over into the next blueprint that I make. So, uh, I'm not overly concerned there. So the factory is also a way to kind of store stuff too that you know if you know you're spawning stuff in the future throw it in all that stuff if you, especially if you run out of inventory space it actually it's kind of funny that does happen yes you can get so much loot that you've run out of space let's throw this in there and uh, oh we increased the production by time by two seconds awesome okay so we got all the iron we need yeah, all I know how to do is split the stacks in half and then drop one at a time or another half stack. So let's put that in there. We grab this and we single. Yeah, guys, give us, give us, split a stack in a specific amount. Pop up. If it already exists, tell me, because then, uh, you know, that would be typical. And, and, and I'll look like an idiot, so you should. Okay. See, we, it's really easy to make vehicles in this game with, with, if you have plans, like it's just, if you, if you don't have any, just using the defaults or some good ones too, they're just as cheap. Like, you can get a vehicle going, um, realistically, if you had, if you had a place to park it, I mean, I, I didn't want to do that, right? But if you had a place to park it, you can get a vehicle going within, like, 10 minutes. Easy. If you know what you're looking for and you get, get what you need to do, you can get a cheapo SV even going in 10 minutes. I've seen it. It's just a bunch of thrusters with a missile launcher on the front, but... Okay, we want... Oh, why did I do that? Come on. Wrong. Get this in there. What we want to do is we want to get this cooking. It's going to take 12 minutes or so. Start production. It unlocks at level 10. I'm level 10. Even if I don't even think you require to have the specific components unlocked, I think it's a, you just have to be that level to do a blueprint. Uh, anyway, so that's baking in the oven right now. Uh, when it's ready, it'll let us know. So let's go back. Uh, Oh yeah, creepers. Oh, and I left the door open. Whew. That's a little scary. Yeah, let's just close it. Yikes. Oh, I did put a... Oh, that's what I was going to show you guys. Yes, yes. Okay, let's sneak out. There. I've got no vision. Turn my... Turn my flashlight. Okay. around wow okay okay prove me wrong maybe because my base has been up and long enough now that the respawn doesn't happen right on your own base because I don't think they respawn within a certain those are just crows huh good maybe I killed the spawn in this area I, I don't know if that's how that works, but it would make sense to me if if that happened. But uh, we've got five bottles. Okay, this should be enough. That should do it. I can wait for. Nah. 
Okay. So yeah, I got the uh, oxygen generator put down. We've got this all dug out. It's going to be plenty big enough to, to fly an SV down through and get an HV out. Um, and I was thinking of putting up on the roof of the bunker there it is big enough to put a turret and that'll be pretty close to eye level with the surface here won't it yeah that's that's awesome so anything that flies down poof gets paced by it anything that drops down in front of it so it's not going to be shooting its its ammo all the time only if something comes down in front of the cave <sighs> I'm just wondering what kind of turret to do so let's um, let's take a look see what what I can build here uh, I've only got one unlock point so well let's go right into the constructor take a look. Uh, put all this crap back so I can't do anything. No. So, for the base, we have minigun turret, can't do that. Advanced CPU 5. Yeah. So, Neodymion. Uh, sentry gun. That's not a bad option. That's not a bad option. Uh, does decent damage. 60 rate of fire 500 uh, the range doesn't really matter because they're gonna have to come right down in front of the cave I think but 400 meters that's pretty good uh, although that is concerted out in space though right so that'll be really close range um, or the cannon turret range 900 300 to 16 this has a way longer range to it. Magazine capacity of 300, capacity 250. This one does more damage at closer range. More damage at closer range, right? Doesn't that make sense? So 60 damage, 50 per minute, or 500 per minute. 500 per minute, that's a lot of ammo. Uh, that's a lot of rounds. Okay, so that's like 30,000. And then, no, yes, 20, 30,000. Yeah, okay. So 30,000 damage in a minute. If it was hitting and all doing the exact same amount for 60, as opposed to, ah, not even close. Damage is 16, 300 per, uh, wow, yeah, we're looking at 48, 4,800, 4,800 compared to 30,000. Wow, is that right? Is that is that math right? That can't be. So what's the deal? Three thousand hit points. Ah, uh, four hundred hit points. Okay. You know what? I think I want the punch. Maybe I'll make a couple of them. There's space around to put some of these things. So I've got the SB cooking already, so it's not like I need the resources for my SB. So let's that get that going. Make an ammo box. Small one should do. It. I don't think it's gonna be firing that often to tell the truth. Holy shit, I'm about to die. Really? Let's uh let's uh, put the oxygen <laughs> right there and uh and then draw it out. Ooh. Oh my crap. Uh, I didn't see a warning. I didn't see a warning. Let's see. But 
See, folks, I actually have bottles that I could throw in and use the oxygen generator or the oxygen dispenser. Woo! Oh, my God. That would have been embarrassing if I had died right there. My first death due to dirt. Well, I think all my de deaths are probably going to be due to dirt, but that'll be the first one. Um, okay. Well, those are cooking. Let's get some ammo going too. Good. Get all in a powder. Lots of, lots of resources right now for the survival stage. So I'm golden. I mean, I got this base up and running. I still got a bunch. That's all from just smashing rocks, folks. Like seriously, it's a, it's effective. It is effective. kind of weird that you can't make ammo from a specific weapon, but you have to go into the general one to make the ammo. So, yeah, my gun uses that too, so I'm not really worried about over expenditure on those bullets. Although I will need some 15 mil. I will need 15 mil. So, let's get and on the 15 mil for the uh, for the SV when it arrives. Okay, things are going along. Excellent. Let's grab let's grab the uh, sentry guns, the ammo box, and we'll even grab some ammo right now. It's already it takes. I can throw my guns and ammo in there. I guess I. Let's, uh, let's see this. We've got some space up here, I was thinking, because I don't really see where else I could put it in between up there, but I like up there, I think. So let's do that. Throw the ammo box up there. Oh, it kind of threw a shadow or area effect because of the lighting. Whatever. Uh, we can then put, go into P, we're going to P into the small ammo box, and then, where are we, oh, actually, we can, yeah, get to it right from here, the main, so, and I'm just going to click, oh, what the hell, fill all. Oh, because I don't have any turrets. It doesn't know what to fill. Oh, wait, I'll just manually go in. Throw those 500 in there for right now. Uh, let's go place these turrets. I'm thinking... God, those... Since I got ammo in, they they they'll start auto shooting right away if there's dudes. So I think I want. Oh, see, they only take up one square. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so I could do one there and right beside it, or ooh, I like there. So if they do start coming in, it can pivot and get them, and it won't really interfere with the vehicle too badly. Put it there. Huh. So there's... Ah! My 
blueprint is ready. Okay, I like that one there. I mean, I, I should put one right beside it, right? Make it hang upside down. No, that'll be too hard to get in. But right, I think right beside it for... Oh, drones are coming. Okay, drones are coming. Drones are coming. Or should I put the other one? Or should I put the other one? Uh, okay. Uh, I like, ooh, kind of like that. That's kind of sexy. Um, I do want to, maybe, you know what? Put that, can I get it to face down? Like that? Like that. Ooh, I like that. I'm going to make another one and hang it right there, too. Outside. Did you see how brutal that is? Look at, look at, it's, it's minus 28 outside. Let's see how many are going above my base. So if they come down in front, I think that this is going to work awesome. They, they can't shoot down through the dirt, right? <laughs> come on down. Join the fun. Get him, get him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you want some too? Oh, God, I can't get out there. Uh, what about if I put on, if I make a, okay, okay. Let's get this out. Make a uh, armor locker real quick here. Oh, not so quick. Okay. Let's get the other one placed. Let's put this into my uh, bar here. We'll get the medic station placed down real quick. Um, that looks good. That looks good. And then I should be able to go in and make this my home. Yes, turn it on. Yes. Yes. Now, if I die. Yeah! Oh, 
Oh, this might have been the right choice. Putting those two there. Nice. I can't get out there. I gotta get this uh, locker up. I gotta get the locker up and put my Evo in. There we go. Okay, okay. Let's do this. We can do it, we can do it. Just breathe. We can do it. Okay, um, what? You're that big? No, you are not. Oh, did I make the wrong one? Ah, damn it, I made the wrong one, didn't I? Yep. Okay, okay, that's okay. That's okay, that's okay. That's okay. We'll put it on the uh, SV, which I can spawn right away. But I need to make this. Where is it? Oh, I don't have one for the base. I don't know it. Oh, oh tragedy. Okay, so I spawn the SV. I put the locker on the SV. I okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. So, so we spawn the SV. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, where are you? Get to my factory. Oh, right up there. I'm ready to go. We spawn this. We spawn this. Way back here. We spawn it back here. We spawn it back here. And then, and then. <laughs> and now I put my my SV locker on it. Okay, okay, okay. We'll just uh, spin it around. At least I want it to look good. Okay, nice, nice. So now, if I if I go into the control panel of it and um, can I can I, it? Do I have it? Yes. Oh, nice. And then how about? Oh, I don't have any oxygen on me because it's all out there. Okay, well I have I have a bunch on my suit, so I can also fill all right. Oh, I don't wait. Can I? Oh, I didn't grab those bullets. Okay, okay, we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Got bullets there. Get, I just I gotta put bullets in there. Oh, fine. Just, If I, no, oh, not my base. If I, uh, if I look at it and then switch the power on, there we go, there we go, there we go. And now we stay into the, there, and we go into the devices, and we go into, uh, oh, we're gonna get the, uh, boost, get the boost, get the boost. Come on, grab the boost. P into it. Thank you. Uh, box? Yes, yes, that's where I got it. Oh! Get him, get him, get him, get him! Yes! Okay, okay, but I'm, I'm not gonna be able to grab it if I uh, can't get the resources off him if, if I can't get out there, right? Right? So, let's go into the un. Let me sound down here. Here we go, the armor locker. And we put the Evo boost on. Okay, okay, so now I'm good to minus 250. I can run out there and grab that shit. And my base should get, should cover me, right? 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 And it's marked as my home, so even if I die, I spawn here. I can do this, I can do this. Come on, come on. Or should I... Should I just fly up there and kill him? What? I want to grab the parts. I want to grab the parts. Okay, so let's run. Run. We're in the water. We're in the water. Oh, they're quite a bit distance away. Can we get to... Is this one the closest? This one might be the the one that just died, too. So, so yeah, I might be able to draw them down in front of the base and get the base to shoot them down, like, on top of me. What the hell was that noise? Was it shooting my SV? Why didn't the base shoot at it? Is it oh shit, is the base out of ammo? 500 rounds already? 
No. That's it. I grab this part. It's going to despawn before I get to it, isn't it? Come on, come on, come on. Too much daddling. Too much daddling. Can I run? Sort of. Come on. Don't despawn. Give me your bits. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear it. Where are you? I'll take your bits. Thank you very much. Now that shit is... Oops. Oh, oh. I'm assuming my base just took that out. Nice. <laughs> I'll just hide under the water while my base kills everything. Awesome. I don't even know if they shot. Did these drones even shoot back? I'm not sure. I was underwater when they're shooting at my... It sounded like my SV got shot. I'll have to go check. See how critical it is to actually have a base up. <laughs> a little bit of a panic trying to set up the few little parts and pieces for me to allow allow myself just to come out and grab the parts off those. It was kind of exciting though. You guys never really got to see the drones that much, unfortunately, because it's nighttime, and I was such a coward. But. Um, Excellent. Huh. If I can get back without dying. I think if, we, if I get back without dying, this will be a good episode. It doesn't look like I'm going to be interfered with. And you know what? You know what? Let's check the oxygen on the way home here. Kind of like picking up the milk, right? I can hear it over here. Oh, that's my base stopping me. Okay, so let's go back a bit. Get rid of my. There we go. jetpack on. There we go. Okay. Okay. Well, that went swimmingly. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We have some oxygen now. What I wanted to show you before we we're so freaking rudely interrupted. <sighs> I'm just gonna close the door. Okay. What I was gonna show you was I'm gonna put the rest of this oxygen in here. Well, fill it up anyway. So that filled up the base's oxygen now. Because it's sealed, you notice the ventilator still is not running. I'm going to access the ventilator through the control panel and just turn that on. And you can just go to the main and select oxygen. And basically, turns the ventilator on, oxygenates the room. Um, so there we go. It ejected. It needed 351 to fill. Uh, I had like 1,500 in the tanks and 351 in the base.
base, so it will draw from the base's oxygen before my own now. So you can see that I now have a symbol on the left-hand corner beside my helmet symbol that's lit up saying O2. Um, that means that it is no longer drawing oxygen from my suit, basically. So, so if you if you don't have an O2 symbol, it's drawing oxygen from your suit. If you have an O2 symbol, it's not drawing oxygen from your suit. Um, wow, we've got. Well, that was a panic. You know, I. Sorry, guys. I, that was. I set that all up kind of quickly and just kind of threw it around, but uh, I think it worked. It was okay. It was okay, and it, it's not that bad. Okay. Okay. So. Well, I, I guess that's good. Well, what we're going to do is next episode, uh, I'm going to fly this thing up to the moon, maybe. Wouldn't that be cool, huh? Take a, now that i got a base for if I die to go to, take it to the moon. Yeah. 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 That's kind of scary sounding, actually, but I, I need the Neo and Sap, so we're going to do it. Okay, guys, if you like this episode, like, subscribe, um, and make some comments if you notice anything that I did that was particularly stupid or particularly smart or, or you know, whatever. Just uh, how your feedback is, the, the ridiculousness of me placing the base, you know, uh, I don't know, <laughs> back and down, like, 30 meters both direction the wrong way um, that was that was harsh um, I'm glad I didn't have to uh, build a new base but <laughs> at least I got it figured out um, I might just leave that there for you <laughs> it's a little tacky right in front of my door but interesting okay okay guys uh, so next episode, I'm going to take the SV out, and we'll go to the moon. Woo! See you guys later.